Hey, Chris here. Today I need your help. I just booked an international trip for November and just have some travel related questions that I would love to get your input on. So recently came across some interesting conversation about checking a bag or not checking a bag. And really valid points on both sides of the aisle. So I've always been in the mindset of I love keeping my items with me. That way when I arrive at my destination I have everything that I can gather, deplane, and basically get on my way uh, to whatever I might be doing next. So really the last 20 plus years I've never thought about checking a bag just because I'm trying to maximize the space I have and like I put out in the previous video I love trying to kind of pack as light as possible and still have everything I need. But reading through some of these forums and even some conversations on Facebook people make some really valid points about why to check a bag. And I guess one thing that really attracts me to the thought is not having to worry about it. So once you get to the airport, again, check your bag, go to your gate, and just kind of hang out. And even if you have a personal item, you know that's going to fit under your seat. So one issue that I, I guess, kind of stress about or I guess have anxiety about is just trying to find that space in the overhead bin. And so many times that we've flown, even if nobody's around your seat, there's always bags right where you're sitting. And again, very frustrating because, uh, again, you want to make sure that there's space close to where you sit, um, again, just so you have access to your items. So again, to me, there's an attraction there now to where, uh, I guess, once you drop your bag off, really you're not worrying about that until you get to your destination. And that's really nice if you're possibly connecting and, again, not having to pull that out, wheel it to your next gate, and, again, try to go through that same process again. So definitely see the, I guess, the benefit of doing that. I know on the flip side of that, again, you don't have your items with you and there's always a possibility of damaged or lost luggage. So just really interested to hear what you do. What do you prefer to do when you travel? Do you check a bag? If you have the option, because I know a lot of people even check your carry-on bags. Uh, again, very interested to hear kind of how you travel and what you prefer. So first question is, do you check a bag? And do you check a bag when you don't have to check a bag? And so I guess a follow-up to that question is, if you do check a bag, what's your go-to bag? What size bag do you use? I guess, what's your go-to bag size? Do you try to maximize that limit that's in place? Or again, do you just use the bag that you have and just check that? So again, just looking for some input because I do have a trip coming up in November. Again, an international trip, and I'm kind of debating on what I want to do. Uh, again, I love having my items with me, and I've done that forever. But just wanted to get some input and see what you prefer to do. My second set of questions is just a little bit more specific. Our return flight will be on Air France. So just wanted to see if anyone has any experience flying Air France. If so, what did you like and what did you dislike? Also, from what I've read, it looks like their baggage policy is similar to the U.S. domestic carriers. So just wanted to see if that was your experience as well. I'm a huge fan of the Away carry-on. Love the bag, and I have used it on multiple trips. If I do decide to check a bag, I'm really interested in possibly getting the medium-sized bag from Away. So I guess my second question is, does anyone have experience with the medium-sized uh, Away bag? And again, um, love hearing that real world experience, especially if I'm going to put down that kind of money on a bag. Um, if so, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, again, I know I like my bag, one of my favorite, if not my favorite current carry on. So to check a bag, I know it has that extra space. Um, and it looks like that, again, it's going to withstand hopefully being beat up. If not, I've heard they do have a good return policy. So again, do you have any experience with Air France? Would love to hear that. Also, the larger away bag. Um, again, just wanted to see if anybody might have that bag or any kind of prior experience with this. So what's been so fun about YouTube for me is just a lot of my, I guess, prior thoughts and um, travel style or whatever you might call it has definitely kind of evolved or changed. And uh, again, one thing I love is just hearing other people's perspective of how they travel and kind of their 
thoughts and what bags they like and what bags they don't like and, and whatever the case might be. So again, just wanted some input and some insight and just to get your perspective on some of these questions. Uh, again, it's going to help me tremendously. So as always, thank you so much for taking time to watch. Please like, subscribe, and please leave those comments this time. Again, thank you so much.